dear friend, patriot, lover of order and juridicature, without a doubt, without a doubt, my most favorite, absolute favorite politician, corrupt politician, blowhard, whatever you want to call it, in the pantheon of all of them, from Gamala to Pelosi to AOC, number one is Tiffany Henyard, whose apparent IQ, I would guess, would be somewhere between soap dish, speed bump, maybe near a dart, dryer lint, maybe, pencil shavings. She is the embodiment of all that is cretinous. I can't say it enough. She seems to be and appears to be the most corrupt politician in the history of American politics. As you probably know, and as you've heard me say, Tiffany Henyard, the scandal-pocked, scandal-ridden, scandal-plagued Democratic mayor of Dalton, D-O-L-T-O-N, Illinois, apparently right now is in a, a new problem where she faces uh, eviction from her home, according to a local report, specifically Fox 32 Chicago. Tiffany Henyard, who was dubbed and named and labeled by residents as being the worst mayor in America, the Dalton dictator, she calls herself super mayor. She, it is alleged, along with her boyfriend, Kamal Woods, owe more than $3,300 in rent on a home that they have been renting in the uh, area for the past three years. This is according to Fox 32 Chicago. They sh cited copies of an eviction notice or what have you. Now, Henyard also reportedly refused to have the property inspected pursuant to the lease. Now, an attorney for Super Mayor Henyard told Fox 32 via text message that the claim was false without merit and that the couple has not missed any rent payment whatsoever. This is just a big mistake. Now, Henyard, self-proclaimed super mayor, has been basically under attack for a while because of her extravagant spending all on the taxpayer's dime. She made national headlines with these absolutely, these, these ridiculous, barbaric, contentious, rebarbative, screaming, almost riotous town meetings with residents and officials at each other's throats, requiring police involvement. In April, police were forced to shut down a meeting over security concerns following these lunatic exchanges between Henyard and residents. Now in June... As you probably know, in June, police broke up a, a fight of sorts between supporters and opponents of Ms. Henyard before it turned ugly and very violent. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, another out-of-control town meeting unfolded in Thornton Township. This is this is different now. Thornton Township is where she happens to serve as Thornton Township Supervisor. Dalton Mayor, Thornton Township Supervisor. And uh, Township Trustees called on her to be a little more open, a little more transparent regarding her lavish spending, leading her to accuse them of attacking her. How dare you? Quote, she says, this is what I mean about my board. It's a lot of hate jealousy, and envy amongst them towards their supervisor. How dare you question me? An attorney for Henyard 
then told Fox 32 via text message that, again, this is just a big misunderstanding. Henyard most recently spent approximately $85,000 to throw a lavish party that featured R&B singer Kiki Wyatt, that's right, and rapper Jay Holiday last month. Now, former uh, Chicago Mayor uh, Beetlejuice Lightfoot, uh, um, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, previously had investigated Mayor Henyard for her spending habits in the village of Dalton, though there has been no investigation, no investigation into her spending regarding uh, Thornton Township. So we got the village, and then we got the township. So get this straight. Mayor, ex-mayor, or former Mayor Lightfoot uh, found that, uh, looked into the town situation, financial situation, wherewithal, and found out in the preliminary report that Dalton's general fund balance was $5.61 million in 2022. So $5.6 million in 2022. But by May, but by May of this year, 2024, the balance had dropped to a deficit of 3.65 million. 5.6 million in the red, in the black rather, excuse me, 3.65 million in the red. They disclosed that Ms. Henyard used the village card, or credit card, to make purchases at Wayfair and Walgreens and Amazon and Target and, and one mind-blowing, breathtaking statement. Jaw-dropping, it has been des uh, described, revealed that she, Super Mayor, had dropped $33,000 on January the 5th, 2023, on Amazon. Now, in New York, we've got this mayor, Eric Adams, who is under an indictment for basically getting upgrades on first class or business flights, ostensibly doing kind of, sort of, maybe city business, and upgrades on hotels. And they want to throw away the key, put them in federal, in Sing Sing, in Supermax, but the super mayor hasn't even been arrested, hasn't gotten a parking ticket. Can you explain what's going on to me? Now, those people, if, if, these, if we use kind of, OC, LCN kind of mentality. They're saying, when somebody does something for this long and they haven't been charged, are they an informant? No, not in her case. But it makes you wonder, how in the name of God did this ever happen? Well, stay tuned, dear friends. Because we here at Lionel Legal are going to get to the bottom of this. I found out something very interesting the other day. You're going to love this. Ready for this? And looking at a particular video of mine, it showed that 57% of those individuals who were watching the video were not subscribed. 57%. We cannot have that. You must subscribe to Lionel Legal. You must like this. You must subscribe or hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. And whatever you do, I beg, beseech, implore, and importune you, dear friend, and lover of liberty and all that is juridical to comment as you see fit.